April 11. The reading is entitled, With a Teachable Disposition. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Jeremiah 6.16 after asking the Lord for a knowledge of his will, for heavenly wisdom, for the light of the Holy Spirit, the petitioner will search the scriptures and find that passages that were dark to his mind have suddenly grown clear and he understands his duty as never before. Jesus said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. John 7, verses 16 and 17. The knowledge of divine truth is promised to those who will render obedience to the light and truth that have been given to them. An entrance into the straight gate is not dependent upon the possession of learning or riches, but it is dependent upon the possession of a teachable spirit. He who appreciates the first ray of heavenly light and appropriates it and walks in it, bringing his actions into harmony with that ray and becoming sanctified through it, will receive yet more light. He will understand that the gospel is the plan of salvation. He who has an obedient heart that is ready to do the will of God, will not only gladly receive truth, but will earnestly seek for truth as for hidden treasure. He will come to the scriptures with a humble and teachable spirit, seeking to understand how he may walk in the light, and saying, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Acts 9, 6 He is ready to sacrifice anything and everything, if required, in order that he may be in harmony with the will of God. It is not always an easy matter to render obedience to the will of God. It demands firmness of purpose to enter in at the straight gate and to travel in the narrow path that leads to eternal life. For on every hand are voices inviting the soul into by and forbidden paths. Those who love wealth and honor and high position will not enter in at the straight gate unless they part with their idols. There is not room to enter in at the straight gate and carry the things of this world along. He who would enter in at the straight gate must make an entire consecration of his all to God. Jesus says, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew 16, 24 Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.